Hello YouTubers. Well, I think I must be the luckiest granddad in the whole world. And uh, <laughs> when uh, some of my friends um, ask me, how are you? I say, okay. And then they say, are you still doing that internet thing? And I say, yes. And then they sort of <laughs> roll their eyes and, <laughs> and look at me with, uh, with pity. But um, they needn't pity me because uh, I, do, I do have a life and a life that I enjoy. And um, I mean, take this week, um, so much has happened and, and things happen every week. Um, this week, um, yes, this is Saturday, so it was this week. Uh, on Sunday, I was um, taken down to uh, London to meet up with the Zimmers. And when, on Monday, we performed at the London Olympics 2012 offices in Fleet Street, a wonderful one of these modern glass built buildings and um, we performed there. They were having a conference about adversity, I think it was, I suppose by which they mean that the, our London Olympics are not going to exclude anybody uh, of uh, any race, colour, creed or disability or young or old and since we satisfied one of those criteria then they ask us if we'd go down to do a little performance which uh, which we did and um, it was uh, it was very nice they they gave us a lovely room to wait in sort of i suppose officially you'd call it a green room and they served us drinks of all sorts and lovely food and fruit and um, that was uh, a very nice occasion <laughs> Keep going, keep going, you're digging a hole. That's the way he tells them. That's the way he tells them. You're digging a hole. No, I can't do it. I can't even clean one. That's typical of you. <laughs> he hasn't got any clean No, he's never heard a clean one. Only one little thing worried me. I got an email uh, during the week before that said a young man named Robert will be collecting you on Sunday afternoon at two o'clock. Well, I'm very used to the drivers that uh, take me backwards and forwards to London, but I didn't like the sound of a, a young man. But in actual fact, it turned out lovely because A, he was he was a lovely young man. We had lots of things uh, to talk about and lots of things that interested us. But above all that, he was in fact a, a very, very good and careful driver. So um, I hope I've made another friend. And um, so uh, that was that. Uh, we only performed three songs for about a quarter of an hour to a small audience of perhaps about a hundred, I would think. And some of the Zimmers thought, uh, since recently we'd been in LA where we'd performed before thousands, they thought it was um, a small fry. But personally, I thought it was wonderful because they were very um, appreciative and enthusiastic and... Um, I think it's a bit like YouTube, isn't it? That uh, much better to have a small group of people who uh, are interested possibly in what you say and like to see you than, uh, you know, people who've got millions of, uh, millions of followers and people perhaps go there just because, I don't know what really, because it's... Uh, they want to be with the uh, with the in crowd so that that went very well um of course it was tiring but i got home again i think on monday night uh, about 10 o'clock or something like that and so that was good um what else has happened well there's always something happening and uh, one of the things that i'm interested in i've been contacted by a uh, publisher a magazine some publishers in germany who are doing a magazine for um, the teenage market and have asked me to uh, uh you know do do things uh 
in relation to that, um, which is good because it's something I'd be very interested to do in that uh, hopefully if I can present myself properly then it might all help to break down some of these barriers between the old and the young and um, uh, lots of things will happen about that and uh, at the moment um, we've arranged that the interview be done on Skype on Sunday evening but the following week I'm sure there'll be many articles to write and it's possible that uh, I might do a, com um, a column I, I don't know uh, but also to send videos for the um, online version of their magazine uh, so that's uh, something that's going to take up uh, a nice bit of time uh, also um, I'm in contact with an academic who is doing a very serious study on uh, I suppose um, social networking and uh, again wants to uh, interview me um, uh, so emails go backwards and forwards and there'll be a lot of writing and things to do about that and um, on Monday, a, um, a man is coming up from London who wants to meet me, see me and interview me. I'll be meeting him at the local, um, local rail station at 12.30, I think it is. We'll um, go and have a lunch, um, talk and um, can then come to my home for him to do the interview and I'll take him back to the station again I think at about uh, 5.30 in the evening so the days are pretty full and I really don't need I really don't need the sympathy of my friends because I don't know what their lives are like and whilst uh, a lot of mine is spent in cyberspace um, it's a very uh, it's a very good life and of course I don't like being old uh, who would but um, I do have a life and uh, um, I'll let you know have some of the things that uh, happen uh, happen to me um, what I was going to say something else I can't remember that's one of the uh, that's one of the um, problems of being old but um, I think this has gone on quite long enough, so uh, until I see you next time, I'll say my usual uh, goodbye.